Hey guys, welcome to another video in our coaching series. Uh, today again, we got the second video coming up for the beginners. It's a full body workout catering upper body, lower body, and some amazing core work. Uh, and remember guys, every time before you start the workout, make sure you've done an effective warm up before you crack on. So the first drill that we're bringing into play is called a Kang squat, spelled K-A-N-G. All right, placing the hand, uh, taking like a broomstick, take it to the back of your neck, like you'd rack a barbell behind you. So once the bar is there, the first focus is to go into a hinge position. So I'm gonna turn Dynak to the side so you guys can see him very clearly as to what's happening. So his feet placement are just outside your hips with your toes slightly open to allow space for your torso when you squat. And the first uh, intention is a hip hinge. So you're gonna hinge through your hips, keeping your knees slightly soft. Once you've hinged and you brought your chest parallel to the ground, you're gonna squat, bringing the hips down, your chest up. Then you're gonna hinge back into that hinge position and extend up, squeezing those glutes. On here, we're gonna work for 12 reps. Keep it nice and controlled. Going for three sets here. Make sure that posture is nice and braced and ease of their day. Uh, so remember, it's three sets with 60 seconds rest. Take your time when doing this exercise, guys. Don't just rush. Feel what's meant to be happening. So remember, when you're hinging, you're feeling for the lengthening of the hamstring. When you're squatting, you're feeling for the extension on that thoracic spine as well as the chest, the chest being nice and tall and your knees being pushed out. Take your time, go for 12 reps, three sets with 60 second rest in between. Right guys, this is for part two. Now that we've finished with the Kang squat, we're going for some back foot elevated split squats into some courtesy lunges. Rep range we're working on is 12 reps on each side. There is no tempo, no holds on this, but what we would like to see is some great control. So Dynex is about to demonstrate to you what a back foot elevated split squat is. With the back foot, you wanna make sure it's about knee height on the elevation. You wanna sit all the way down, bring that back knee down, bring the hip in line with the standing leg, driving that up nice and tall, and then hinging back down. Find a nice little pace, you can stay consistent. So remember, you don't have to hold at the bottom, just stay smooth with the movement, and that's what I'm after. So you've got 12 reps on each side. Once you finish your 12 reps, you're gonna go into a courtesy lunge. Remember, we're standing nice and parallel with our feet under our hips, stepping around and behind us, getting that knee to come across that heel before standing up through that leg. So the main thing is gonna be stimulating is through your hamstring, your glute major, and the glute medius. A little bit of piriformis in there too. So, you can see Dynaka clearly, he's gonna step around that leg, bringing that knee past, and then driving through that standing leg to stand up tall. If you face the camera this way, the show as well. So you can see clearly where Dynaka's feet placement is, going all the way around, making sure that knee is also going across, and then driving through that standing leg to come up nice and tall. And on this again, we're going for 12 reps on each side. So if you want to go alternating, it's 24 reps. If you want to go single side at a time, it's 12 reps. And remember guys, as part of that superset of the back foot elevated split squat and your courtesy lunge, we're going for three sets with 60 second rest in between. Remember, there's no tempo, so it's all about finding a good pace that you can stick to with some consistency. So right guys, for part three of your beginner's full body workout, we've got a little bit of chest work and some shoulder work, some upper body strength work to build on. The first movement is a downward dog handstand push up. In short, it's a downward dog HSPU, all right? So um, downward dog position. So some of you might be familiar if you've done some yoga or anything like that. So I'm gonna get Dynex to turn to his side and come on down into a nice downward dog position. So the idea of a downward dog position is to make sure that your legs are fully lengthened, you're tightening your hips nice and tight, and you're lengthening that spine and you've got a nice stretch on that hamstring. From here, you're gonna to start to look at just in between the ground above you, and you're gonna bring your head close to the ground by bending your elbows, keeping your elbows towards your body, and pushing the ground away, and fully extending that back so it's nice and tall when you extend up. And again, nice and controlled down, push up away, full extension, and ease off there. So on here, we got 12 reps. Soon after you finish your 12 reps, we're going for some Cobra push-ups. So the Cobra push-ups, I'm sure some of you might be familiar with this movement. You're gonna come nice and light, uh, like nice and flat onto the ground. Place your hands next to you. You wanna first, you're working on is the flexion and extension on that spine here. You're always looking up, always keeping these hips pushed down by the legs off the ground and then hinging down through the elbows towards the ground and then lifting and getting that real extension through that spine. And again, on here, we're going for 12 reps. So you've got 12 of a downward dog handstand push-ups. 
12 of the Cobra uh, push-ups. We're going for three sets with 60 seconds rest in between each round. Right guys, so for the final section of the bodyweight workout for beginners, uh, we're going to be bringing some core work to finish off. We're going to start off with some butterfly sit-ups, then we're going to go into a hollow hold, and then we're going to go into a reverse bridge hold too. So, for the first movement is a butterfly sit-up. The rep range is from 10 to 15 reps, all right? Find the rep range that suits you. Key thing here is to make sure the soles of your feet are together, your knees are open. You're gonna start with your hands touching the ground behind you. You're gonna come forwards, touch your feet, and extend all the way down. The focus is to keep your feet anchored. Use the momentum of your hands to touch the ground and reach your feet through each rep. And like I said, we're going for 10 to 15 reps. Soon as you finish your 10 to 15 reps, we're going into a hollow hold. So you're gonna be lying nice and flat on your back. So you're starting position, you're gonna first bring your knees in towards your chest. With our main focus is to compress that core and your lower back to the ground as hard as you can so you feel that brace through your core. And then from this point, you're gonna lift your shoulder blades up and extend your arms and lift your legs up like so. So your lower back is compressing and your arms are in line with those ears holding a nice hollow shape. On this, you're gonna hold for 20 to 30 seconds. And once you finish on the hollow hold, you're gonna go into a reverse bridge. So with your knees bent and your feet nice and flat, with your fingers pointing outwards and away from you, make sure your feet are at hips width apart. You're gonna drive your hips up, full extension through those hips, pinching those shoulders blades together, squeezing those glutes and holding that position there for 20 to 30 seconds. So like I said, the first movement is the butterfly sit-up. We go from 10 to 15 reps. Then you've got the hollow hold, which we're gonna hold for 20 to 30 seconds. And then finally, we're gonna hold that reverse bridge in a 20 to 30 second hold. Remember guys, this is a full body workout. So when you finish this session, it is crucial that you stretch every part, especially as a beginner. You starting off, your body's gonna get very tight, very fatigued, and it's gonna take a whole lot of recovery for you to be motivated to come back the next day and do it again. So make sure you focus on your recovery. Do it in a way that you're gonna enjoy it. Get your family involved, get your brothers and sisters, your auntie, your uncle, your mom, your dad, get everybody there. Hope you guys enjoyed these workouts, uh, and I'll look forward to seeing you in our next video.